आज की जो क्लास है वी आर गोइंग टू डू समथिंग नॉट वेरी डिफरेंट बट समथिंग विच इज रियली uh which really has magical is a wrong word but really has a magical and uh, you know um, quality to it so uh aaj ka jo topic hai it is related to something called as a nada yoga okay now nada for the lack of better uh, translation uh, can be translated into sound and yoga as you know is the practice of um uh, you know union between the soul and the higher higher divine so nada yoga is a way where you use the sound or the vibrations okay to read the reach that uh, state of self realization that state of you know samadhi now uh, as i said nada ko for the lack of better word we translate it as sound but nada is not sound nada is something more deeper okay when we say nad we mean anahat nad so there are two types of sounds one is ahat nad another is anahat nad ahat nad is a sound which you which gets created when two things strike together so this is ahat nad okay most of the sounds in the universe in the world are ahat nad they get created when either two things are striking striking together two things are getting rubbed together there is a friction between two things that is when the ahat nad is created so that ahat nad or that ahat sound is cannot be called as a nad all right there is another type of sound which is called as anahat nad now anahat this word you might have heard we have we have an anahat chakra also right the heart chakra is called the anahat chakra so anahat is a sound which which gets created it on its own there is no friction there is no object uh, which creates that sound okay so for heartbeat is called as an anahat sound so heartbeat there is no striking of two objects there is no friction of any two objects it is just a sound which gets created because heart is moving heart is getting contracting and uh, you know the, it is closing the walls are closing and opening so that kind of a sound is called as an anah uh, anahat nad so the sound of omkar the sound of soham these are all considered as anahat nad in nada yoga it is said that the purpose of nada yoga is to move from ahat nad to anahat nad okay now the sound that we create the, the talking that happens it also happens because of the vocal cords you know the vocal cords strike each other they touch each other and the sounds get created so the the talking or the chanting that we do is also an ahat nad it is not an anahat nad okay so the so so we move from ahat to anahat when we start chanting when we start any kind of a meditative practice where we are chanting whether we are chanting omkar whether we are chanting any kind of mantra the higher purpose of that practice is after a certain point of point in time your body will start creating those vibrations on its own without you having to create that sound okay so then it becomes internal meditation more than an external meditation all right but we have to start somewhere so we start from the anahat uh, sorry ahat nad and we move to the anahat nad okay i just wanted to just uh, you know make it clear now the chanting that we are going to do today it is called as matrika nyas okay now uh, all of us have attended hindu ceremonies we have attended pujas and havans aap logo ko aap logo ne dekha hoga ki wo jo pandit ji hote hain wo jo jajman hote hain jo puja mein baithe hote hain unko beech mein kai baar apne different body parts ko touch karne ke liye kehte hain you know they they ask you shirsai swaha netrai swaha you know they'll they'll ask you to touch different body parts and they will chant mantras when you are touching your body parts so that is called मंत्रिकाइब्रेशन ऑफ दैट मंत्रा एट डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर बॉडी 
सो so, जो भी वो मंत्र चैंट कर रहे हैं उनकी जो भी वाइब्रेशन है वो आप अपने बॉडी के डिफरेंट पार्ट पे प्लेस करते हैं सो यू काइंड ऑफ उसको क्या बोलते हैं आप आप अपने बॉडी के डिफरेंट प्राण पार्ट्स की प्राण प्रतिष्ठा करते हैं यू एक्चुअली टेक दैट प्राण फ्रॉम दैट मंत्रा एंड यू कीप दैट प्राण एट डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट दिस इज मंत्री का न्यास वेर द मंत्राज आर यूज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे इज कॉल्ड मातृ का न्यास नाउ ऑल ऑफ अस हैव रेड द हिंदी बारा खड़ी आई कग द स्वर्ज एंड व्यंजन so we are going to do chanting with the bara khadi today not all the letters but some special letters which is called as matrika nyas so using the letters of sanskrit or hindi uh, grammar we are going to do nyas so we are trying to place the vibration of all these letters at different parts of our body now this comes from rigveda okay i'll i should mention it this comes from rigveda which is one of the oldest vedas Okay, Rig Veda is one of the oldest Vedas. So this chanting practice comes from Rig Veda. So what does Rig Veda say? So the beauty of our language, the beauty of Sanskrit and Hindi, Hindi, they are so scientific that all these alphabets, all these swaras and vyanjans have their own vibrations. Okay, आपको याद होगा अभी भी गांव के स्कूल में वो लोग आ ई ई continuously repeat कराते हैं ना बच्चों से. So that is what what is happening. That is actually they are chanting those letters. ओके सो इन सारे लेटर्स का अपना अपना एक वाइब्रेटरी फ्रीक्वेंसी है एंड दैट वाइब्रेटरी फ्रीक्वेंसी इज रिलेटेड टू वन ऑफ द बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ योर बॉडी ऑल द लेटर्स हैव अ सिंगल वाइब्रेशन एंड दोज वाइब्रेशन आर कनेक्टेड टू सम ऑफ द बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ आर बॉडी सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल क द फर्स्ट लेटर क इट रेजोनेट्स विद द राइट शोल्डर okay similarly a lot of letters all the letters they resonate some let resonate with the eyes with the nose with the lips with the teeth with the shoulders abdomen and everything so now because we don't uh, we will not do all the letters we will do five major letters five major letters by chanting of which we will cover almost whole of the body and all the major systems okay now as i said nad whenever we are chanting it is we are trying to reach the anahat nad ओके सो अनाहत नाद के कुछ क्वालिटीज हैं सबसे बड़ी क्वालिटी तो क्या है दैट इट हैज टू बी सात्विक ऑल द साउंड्स आर आल्सो देयर कैन बी राजसिक साउंड देयर कैन बी तामसिक साउंड देयर कैन बी अ सात्विक साउंड ओके तामसिक साउंड कौन सा होगा व्हिच यू नो व्हिच क्रिएट्स इरिटेबिलिटी इन यू फॉर एग्जांपल अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल इज बचपन में वो जो चौक ब्लैक बोर्ड पे वो दैट स्क्रीचिंग साउंड you know that is a tamasic sound nobody likes it it's very irritating so a lot of other sounds like you know constant honking in traffic or you know uh, some some drilling happening in your neighborhood or something you know all these sounds which create irritability in you which creates create an angry emotion in you they are tamasic sounds rajasic sounds are something which creates energy in you the the sound of a dhol tasha you know if you have uh, seen that ganpati celebrations in mumbai those dhol tasha the people who don't know dancing also feel like dancing okay so these are the sounds which create which are rajasic sounds which create a surge of energy in you and then there come the satvik sounds satvik sounds are the calming sounds the sounds which calm you down so the sounds of nature the sound of rain the sound of you know breeze the sound of ocean or uh, the sound of a temple bell so all these sounds which calm you down so what is what should be the purpose of your chanting is that whatever you are chanting number one it should be satvik in nature so you have to try to chant it very softly very gently and try to make it a satvik sound okay satvik sounds ka ek sabse bada uh, uh, you know a characteristic ye hai that most of the satvik sounds are lower frequency sounds they are not screeching sounds they are sounds which are lower in frequency okay so jab bhi aap chanting karte hain for that matter jab bhi hum log om bhi chant karte hain we should try to not do like om it should be om so it should be a little bit lower frequency and you know try to make it a little bit satvik सो so, अभी जो हम लोग चैंटिंग करेंगे उसमें भी आप ये ध्यान रखेंगे दैट इट हैज टू बी अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑब्वियसली इट हैज टू बी कंफर्टेबल यू शुड बी एबल टू चैंट इट दूसरी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है जो अनाहत नाद होता है इट हैज इट हैज अ लॉन्गर फ्रीक्वेंसी 
सो जैसे हम लोग ओमकार चैंटिंग में भी आपको बोलते हैं ट्राई टू लेंद इन द यू नो ओमकार एंड डोंट एंड इट एब्रप्टली सो ओम शुड नॉट बी चैंटिंग लाइक दैट द शुड बी लेंद इन so it it has to be it has to be prolonged and it has to taper and slowly end it should not end abruptly same with today's chanting also whatever whatever matrikas we will chant try to lengthen the matrika i will tell you how to chant them so you lengthen the matrika and try to elongate the matrika and then you end it okay so you do important cheeze which i want to tell you number one you try to make it satvik you try to be bring it you know down Uh, at the level of a frequency and number 2 try to elongate that sound all right all right now we come to the actual chanting part now the five main letters that we are going to chant today you can write it down if you want to or we are recording we'll always share the recording so the chant the matras are a a se anar wala a a a se aam wala a then comes y य से यज्ञ वाला य देन कम्स भ भ से भालू वाला भ एंड देन कम्स ब ब से बंदर वाला ब ओके सो इट्स अ आ य भ एंड ब ओके आई नो द ब एंड ब का सीक्वेंस जनरली व्हेन वी रीड इट इज ब एंड भ बट इन द चैंटिंग वी डू उल्टा वी डू भ फर्स्ट एंड देन वी डू ब ओके अ आ य भ and then b so these are the five major chants by chanting these you cover almost all the major systems of your body almost all the major organs and parts of your body so we start with the first one pehle main aap sab chanting bahut easy hai iska kuch aisa bahut difficult nahi hai to main sab ka aapko uh, uh, benefits bata deti hu and then we will start the chanting and we will not stop we will do the all the chanting together okay so pehla jo hai that is a Now, a is called the Adipati chant. A is called the Adipati matra. Why? Because a is uh, all the other uh, akshars end with an a. So ka ka. We don't say ka. We don't say ka. We say ka ka. So all the other uh, akshars end with a a ka sound. That is why a is called as the supreme sound. A is called as the Adipati sound. So whenever you are doing a chanting you will always start with a other letters you can do aage piche but a has to be the first one and you always have to do a out of these five you can always choose uh, you know maybe only three only two some day you don't have much time you can do only two chants but a has to be one of them so a is always to be chanted it is the adipati chant now अ का चैंटिंग दो तरीके से होता है आपने कभी कभी इसमें भी पूजाओं में भी देखा होगा देर आर सम पंडित हु डू अ नॉर्मल चैंटिंग देर आर सम हु डू अ नेजल चैंटिंग यू नो सो यू डू एंड देन यू डू द नेजल वन वे यू क्रिएट द साउंड थ्रू योर वे यू यूज योर नोज ऑल्सो इन क्रिएटिंग द साउंड बोथ द वेज आर ओके बोथ द वेज आर करेक्ट it depends on your experience and how you feel when you are chanting for you to choose whether you want to do the normal chant or whether you want to do the nasal chant so when you start chanting this regularly the kind of emotion it uh, you know brings up in your body that based on that you will choose whether you want to do normal whether you want to do nasal or whether you want to do both so for example if you are doing a 12 chant you may do six normal and six nasal it is completely all right okay both of them will have the same vibration but the feeling and the emotion that they generate will be different for each and every person okay somebody may like chanting normally somebody may like chanting uh nasal okay so a uh, is to be chanted either normal or nasal now what are the benefits of a uh, as of at a physiological level a uh, is very good on balancing all the hormones of the body so it works on the endocrine system which is one of the major systems of our body so jitne bhi hormones hai ya jitne bhi hormonal related disturbances hote hain chahe wo thyroid se related disturbance ho chahe wo diabetes ho ya wo pcod pcos ho in sab mein aapko a ka chanting bahut zyada help karta hai it also helps in all the mental health related issues 
So if you have stress, if you have insomnia, if you have anxiety, if you have depression, if you have anything related to, um, you know, um, uh, anything related to hallucinations or anything related to all those sort of, you know, severe mental disorders, it works in that. Another thing, it also uh, improves the immune system. So it works on your immune system as well. Okay. So these are the major three benefits of your chanting of a. Uh. Now, each chanting also has a mudra attached to it. So when you chant, you have to be in a particular mudra. Okay. So a uh ka chanting jo hai, uski mudra kya hai? Ek haat, any which, any one hand, either right or left, whichever works for you. Uski middle finger aap apne crown of the head pe rakhenge. Aur jo dusra haat hai, wo aap apne opposite pair ke soul pe rakhenge. Okay. I hope you are able to see. I'm sitting on a chair. You can sit on the ground also and do it. So one hand is on the sole of the opposite foot. So this is my right hand. I'm keeping it on the sole of the left foot. And jo mera left hand hai, usko mein apne crown of the head pe rakhi. This is the mudra for your a uh chanting. All right. So whenever you're chanting a, uh, this is to be done. Another thing that you can do. Now, this is a general mudra. Now, for example, you have a knee pain today. So what you will do is instead of keeping your hand on the sole, you will keep your hand on that knee, which is painful, and the other hand on the crown of the head. For example, you have a back pain. So you will keep this hand on your back, the other hand on the crown. Okay. So these are the two mudras for a general mudra is one hand on the opposite sole, other hand, middle finger on the top of your head. If you have any particular problem, any particular pain, any particular issue that you want to address, then one hand on the body part that is affected. So if you have, for example, acidity, if you have something related to digestion, you keep one hand on your abdomen, the other hand on the top of your head. Okay. Again, this is your choice. What you want to do that particular day. If there is no pain, if it, if it is just a general chanting, then one hand on the sole, other hand on the top of your head. All right. Is it okay? Is it too much? Is it too heavy? I think this is simple. It's okay, no? Correct? All right. Now the next is A. Ah. Yes, Kavita Ji. Uh, when you started, you said the hand has to be on the sole of the opposite foot. Opposite but foot, yes. You have to keep it on a knee. That also has to be opposite or it can be... Something. No, no, no. Whichever knee is affected. Whichever knee. Okay. If it is right, okay. if it is left, then you keep it on the right. So right hand on the right knee and the other hand on the top of your head. Oh, okay. okay. So whichever knee, whichever hand is affected. It, it doesn't have to be opposite. Okay. Now comes A. Now A is again... It can be chanted either normal or nasal. So you can do both kind of chantings, normal chanting, which is ah, or nasal chanting, which is ah. Okay. So both type of chanting can be done. You can do it together. You can mix it up or you can do either nasal or normal. Now, uh, ah ki jo mudra hai, it is one hand on the top of your head the middle finger on the top of your head, any which hand, right hand, left hand, doesn't matter. So one hand, middle finger on the top of your head, the other hand on the back of your neck. Okay, the other hand palm on the back of your neck. This is the mudra for A chanting. All right, so A chanting ke benefits kya hai? at a physiological level, it is very good for those who are dealing with hypertension, high BP. Okay. Hypertension ke liye bahut achha hai. It is related to all the problems in your shoulders, in your neck, in your eyes. Okay, so it 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 affects all the uh, upper extremities of your body. So your shoulders, your neck, your eyes. If you have any issues related to these body parts, it works in that. It it is very good in bringing clarity. So if there are days when you are feeling confused, there is some decision making to happen. In, you can chant A ah, and it brings clarity of mind. Okay, it creates a very um, a very sharp uh, focus and it brings clarity. It is also very good in sciatica relief. So those of you who you know who have sciatica related problems, A ah is a very good chant for you. So anything related to sciatica is also 
taken care of by the R chanting. So I've told you the mudra of R chanting and how it is done. It is done either nasal or normal, both ways. Next come year. Now year is a very beautiful chant. When you do the chanting, uh, you will understand what I'm saying. It is one of my favorite chants. And it is the mudra of years. You keep both the hands on the chest. Okay. So you either keep it this way, one hand on, you know, both the hands on the chest, or you keep it this way, whatever works for you. Okay. So the idea is you try to cover your entire chest with your hands. All right. Now, as uh, you know, as the mudra only indicates, it is, it works on anything related to your heart, anything related to your anahat chakra. Okay, so uh, if, if you go back to the session we had done on Anahat Chakra, Anahat Chakra is responsible for anything to do with love, relationships, you know, anything to do with interpersonal relation, self-care, how we love ourselves and others. So this mudra or this chanting works on your relationship. It works on the sense of, um, you know, it works on your emotions. It works on your uh, uh, your uh, empathy, it works on your sensitivity, all those things uh, is the year. So year is a very good chant for kids. Okay, so if you have young kids at home, uh, you should make them chant year because it brings a lot of sensitivity, empathy and a lot of innocence, a lot of love, uh, you know, in your body. Apart from that, it also um, works on kidneys and it works on your pituitary gland. Okay, pituitary gland, all of us know that it is a small gland located in our brain. Uh, it's called one of the most uh, important glands in our body. So this chant works on your pituitary gland as well. Where, like I said, it is very good for kids. Very, very good for kids. And you will know when, when you chant here, you will know why I'm saying it is very good for kids. It brings a different kind of, you know, uh, emotion in your, in your body. So it's very good for kids. Then comes bha. Uh, okay, one more thing about year. Year is chanted only normally, no nasal chant for year. Okay, so year you will only chant normal, no nasal chant for year. All right. The mudra is, I told you, na, on chest, both the hands on the chest. Okay, both the hands on the chest is the mudra, no nasal chant, only normal chant. Then comes the letter bha, bha se bhalu wala bha. भ का भी सिर्फ नॉर्मल चैंट होता है नेजल चैंट नहीं होता है और भ की मुद्रा है यू कीप बोथ द हैंड्स ऑन योर नेवल अगेन यू कैन कीप देम यू नो यू यू कैन कीप देम अक्रॉस द नेवल और यू कैन कीप देम वन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ अदर व्हाट एवर वर्क्स फॉर यू द आइडिया इज दैट यू कवर द एंटायर नेवल रीजन विद योर हैंड्स ओके now this works on anything related to digestion anything related to the abdominal organs it works on your kidneys it works on your abdomen it works on your stomach intestine it works on your reproductive organs and bh is also uh, something which um, which balances your feminine energy okay so if there is a imbalance in feminine energy that is why it is related to the reproductive system female reproductive system Okay, so it balances the feminine energy, anything related to the reproduction, anything related to the uh, female reproductive system, any kind of problem, this is the chant that works on it. Okay, so anything related to the abdominal organs. Uh, all right, so I've told you it is only the normal chant, no nasal chant. And the last one is burr. Burr ke liye, you have to keep both the hands on your lower back. The mudra is that both the hands on your lower back. All right, whichever way is comfortable, one hand on top, other hand below, or both hand in V-shape, whichever way it works, you have to keep both the hands on your lower back. That is the sound of bur. Now, bur is anything related to the masculine energy. Now, all of us know what is masculine energy, what is feminine energy. Masculine energy, imbalance in masculine energy means what? People who are indecisive, you know, people who have uh, a lot of problems who are very stiff, who are very, uh, you know, um, rigid in their mindset, who do not want to, you know, uh, once they, they take a decision, they don't want to change it. So all those kind of, you know, these are all the sign of masculine energy imbalance. So all those kind of uh, people who are very fearful, you know, you must have met a lot of people who are doing good in life, but they're very fearful. You know, they feel like, you know, I, I don't have any support. 
people who feel a lack of support in their life. Okay, for them also the B is very helpful. So muscular and energy imbalance related to your uh, mental rigidity and you know indecisiveness and all those. For that the B works. All right. So these are the five main chants that we are going to do today. All right, it is already eight o'clock. Let's quickly start. So first you will sit. You will just connect with your breath with my uh, instructions and then we will start. I will keep instructing in middle. Beach mein kahi pe kuch uh, confusion hai, so you can always stop and you can always, uh, you know, ask me. Haan, Dini, bolo. Uh, Shifali, but first, jo earth ha, uski kya purpose hai? Sorry, I forgot. How does it help? Uh, hormonal... Uh, uh, imbalance it works on your endocrinal system it works on uh, all uh, kind of mental health related issues so sleepliness hai, anxiety hai, all kind of manias hai, depression hai, all that it works on okay all right so we are going to do the uh chanting first we'll start with the uh chanting uh mudra you know either one hand on the sole of opposite foot other hand on the middle finger on the top of your crown of head if there is any particular body part you want to work on then one hand on that body part other hand on the crown of the head okay all right abhi mudra mein mat baithi abhi filhal just baith jaiye comfortably aankhe band kar lijiye spine ko seedha rakhiye and just bring your awareness back on your breath keep your spine straight bring your awareness on your breath try to settle down let your mind settle down now come into the mudra of uh, chanting so one hand on the opposite sole or one hand on an affected body part and other hand on the middle finger on the top of your head so we are going to do six chants teen hum log normal karenge teen hum log nasal karenge all right uh, i'm so sorry just release your mudra one more thing i want to tell you uh, just release your mudra and listen to me. Keep, keep your eyes closed and just listen to me. Now for this, for these chanting, jab hum log omkar ki chanting karte hain, we try to uh, synchronize our chant with the people who are, are chanting with us. So right now, to aap log akele chant kar rahe, it doesn't matter. But what if you are chanting in a group of people? For omkar and other chants, we try to synchronize. But for matrika nyas, you will not try to synchronize. You will do it at your own pace. So even if everybody is chanting differently, that is okay. Okay. So you will not wait for the other person to end and then start and then you start with them. You will go with your breath and you will try to chant it as per your own capacity. All right. So pehle teen chants hum log saath mein karenge. We will try to synchronize because we are just starting. Uske baad ke jo teen chants hai, wo aap log khud karenge at your own pace. So we are going to do six chants. Three together and three on your own. Chale, a jaiye. Ab mudra mein a jaiye. Again. Take a few seconds to settle down. Let your mind, let your breath settle down. Now we will start with a chant of A. Uh. We will just do the normal chant right now. Gehri lambi saans bhare. Uh. सांस भरे सांस भरे Now continue three more times. Nasal, normal, whichever way you want to do it, do it three more times. Once you're done three more times, you may release your mudra.
Keep your eyes closed for the duration. Don't open your eyes. Let, let us stay in words in the chanting. Now comes the R chanting. One hand, middle finger on the crown of your head. Other hand on the back of your neck. One hand, middle finger on the top of your head. Other hand on the back of your neck. Sit straight. Three we will do together. Three you will do on your own. Chale, gehri lambi sans bhariye. Sans bhariye. सांस भरिए Continue three more times. Nasal, normal, whatever works for you. <clears throat> Feel the vibrations in your body wherever you are able to experience. Once done, you may release your mudra. <laughs> now we come to the third chant. It's here. The only way we can chant here is the normal way. There is no nasal chant. Both the hands on your chest. Kavita ji, don't cross your hands. Don't cross your hands. Okay? Don't cross the hands, right hand on the right side, left hand on the left side. Keep your fingers stretched so that you cover your entire chest with your hands. All right? Chalye, teen saath mein karenge, teen aap log karenge. No nasal sound, only normal sound. Chalye, saas bhare. Ya. सांस भरे या सांस भरे या Now continue three more times. All right, now we come to the sound of her, her se bhalu. Put the hands on the navel. Keep them on the top of each other. You can keep them side by side, whatever works. Again, only normal sound, no nasal sound. Chal, gehri lambi saans bhariye. 
सांस भरें सांस भरें Keep going three more times. Once done, relax. Now we come to the last chant that is Ba, Ba Se Bandar. Both the hands on your lower back. Either you keep it in a V shape. Both the fingers where both the fingers are pointing down, or you keep them side by side, whichever way you, uh, way you feel comfortable. Again, only normal sound, no nasal sound. Chali, sans bhare. Ba. Sans bhare. सांस भरे प Continue three more times. <clears throat> It's done. Relax your hands. Continue sitting with your eyes closed. We will repeat all the chants one more time. Now, you will do it on your own. I'm not going to give you any number of chants that you have to do. There is no particular number that you should do. Okay. Uh, whatever time you have, whatever, uh, you know, whatever you feel you require. So you have to choose which chant you want to do, which, uh, you know, number of. So I want you to do, choose any three chants. First, a uh, is compulsory. A, uh, everybody will do. Out of rest, four chants, you choose any two chants. Okay. Any two chants that resonated with you right now when you chanted, any two chants that resonated with you. So you do any three chants. We have 10 minutes time. So you start chanting. I will only ask you to change your chant 
from time to time. So when I say change, you will go to the other chant. Again, I'll say change, you will go to the other chant. Number of chants doesn't matter. But a uh, you have to do. Apart from rest of the four, you can do any one. Okay. Uh, mudra aapko yaad hai sabki. A uh, aapko mudra aapki yaad hai. A ki mudra is this, where you, one hand is in the back of net, other hand is in the top of head. Ya is both on the chest. Ba, bha is both on the navel. Ha, ba is, bandar wala ba is on the back. Okay. So you choose your uh, chanting and you start. Chal. Aakhe band ka lije. A se start ki jiye. And when I say change, at that time you will change your chat. Aram se kijiye, number is not important. How you do it, start to feel the chat. Try to become one with the vibration and the sound. You can try both nasal and normal sound for a. Uh. So if you want to do some na nasal, some normal, all nasal, all normal, you can choose the way you want to do. Okay, now you can change the chant. So whichever chant you want to do next, you can do that now. If you're doing your b or bh, it is only normal chant, no nasal chant.
continue with the same chant. Don't chase as of now. Now change your chant, go to the third one, whichever you have chosen. <clears throat> Slowly release, relax, relax your hands. Keep your hands on your lap. We will end the chanting. Always we will end the chanting with humming. Okay, so after you're done with your chants, you're going to keep both your hands on your laps, one on the top of other, one palm on the top of other palm facing, no, no, one in the laps, in exactly in the center. So both the palms are facing upwards. Yes, keep them comfortably on your laps. We will do the humming similarly how we do in Brahmari Pranayam, but we are only going to do humming. Okay, so inhale. One more time. Inhale. Mm. One more time. Inhale. Mm. And continue now on your own. Do a few more hummings. At your own pace. Soft humming.
let this be the last humming and then you may stop release your hands relax your legs keep your eyes closed for a few more seconds just try to observe the vibrations around your body try to observe the sensations and the emotions that these vibrations have created sit with these vibrations that is how the sound works these vibrations have healing capacity and these vibrations take you to a theta level they take your brain to a frequency where your body self heals itself so allow these vibrations to settle on your mind and your body and then whenever you feel ready you may just rub your palms together keep them on your eyes and then slowly open your eyes all right anything you want to ask anything you want to say about the chanting how it felt um yeah shafali so couple questions actually ah. right kitni der chant karna hai matlab Aisa ideally aisa kuch bhi nahi there is no number particular there is no particular time that you should be chanting 21 times or this many times or for this much duration which you start with whatever time you have you have only 10 minutes you start with 10 minutes but you do at least three chants a has to be there apart from a you choose any two others and you start if you have more times do all five okay. okay so that is your choice how you feel see the the sounds and the vibrations they work on your emotions you know they work at the mental level so how the sound makes you feel that should help you in deciding how much you want to do it okay oh, nice. which sound so that is your choice there is no number particularly as such okay and uh, secondly uh, jab chant kar rahe hain so when we are chanting so are we supposed to uh, say that chant very softly like just barely audible to myself ke it should be loud enough so it should it should be loud you should be able to hear it it should be able to create some vibrations if you see, if you chant it very softly uh, it won't create those vibrations that is required okay so you chant it in a it it doesn't have to be very loud but it has to be uh, loud so that you you are able to hear it yourself utna loud to hona chahiye ekdam softly bhi mat acha jo sar pe jo haath aise rakhna hai to usko lightly rakhna hai ki press karna hai lightly lightly rakhna hai you should feel the sensation of that finger on your head but you should not press it very uh, uh, you know very deeply so halke se rakho itna wo sensation feel ho ki sar pe apni ungli rakhi hai utna hi pressure usko laga ठीक है यस कविता जी यू हैव समथिंग टू से द अ आई फेल इट वाज क्रिएटेड लॉट ऑफ वाइब्रेशन माय शोल्डर्स वर टिंगलिंग अ द य द ब आई रियली फेल्ट कनेक्टेड टू एंड देन आई वाज फोकसिंग ऑन द ब्रीथिंग एंड यू नो द साउंड्स सो द य आई कुड नॉट कनेक्ट सो वेल द फर्स्ट टाइम ओके एंड बट ऑल चांस एंड इन एन अ करेक्ट it becomes your so it's an a uh, that is happening at the end of yeah, it yeah yeah that is why a uh, is the adipati chant uh-huh, right. that is why a uh, is the uh, supreme chant adipati means it is the supreme chant that is why we always start with a uh. all the other chants will end with a uh only they will end with a uh only and a little more sound also i think when you're closing your lips it becomes like a more uh, the more oh, so you try to avoid that i'm sorry i did oh. not mention it. i i remembered it in the middle but i did not want to disturb you So when you chant, जैसे हम लोग ओम में कैसे करते हैं खुले मुंह से स्टार्ट करते हैं एंड देन वी क्लोज आर माउथ टू एंड इस चैंटिंग में ऐसा नहीं होता है सो वेन यू डू अ यू एंड द चैंट एंड देन यू क्लोज योर माउथ यू डोंट क्लोज योर माउथ वाइल यू आर चैंटिंग अदरवाइज इट विल एंड इन मदरवाइज Mm. this will happen okay so what you do you end the chant and then you close your mouth okay. and taper okay. you end your i did not find the tapering very easy that's okay find... that will that will come with uh, so that is my next point 21 is i am giving you homework 
only two of you are here. Uh, I will put it in the, I will share the recording with people and then I'll ask others also. 21 days you have to do this chanting every day. Now, the most important thing is this chant uh, doesn't have to be done in the morning only. It, uh, it is not important for you to do it empty uh, stomach. Malab, aisa nahi ki subhe subhe utke hi karna hai. Obviously, you should keep some gap between your food intake and when you're doing chanting or something. But you can do it at the sleep time also. Sone ke time pe bhi kar sak. When you're going to the bed, you can do it at that time also. But try to do this continuously for next 21 days. Okay, you will, what will happen is, see how the sound works is, it works when you connect with it. So the more you practice, the more you will connect it with, the more easily it will come to you. The more, and the sound, what we hear is not important. The vibration it creates is more important. So slowly with practice, you will be able to feel the vibrations more deeply. And then it will start working. The healing will start happening. Okay, so try to do this for next 21 days continuously, whichever time you are choosing, try to stay, try to do it at the same time every day. Obviously, if someday you don't get the time, you do it at some other time, that is okay. But try to stick to the same time every day. So you choose a time you want to do it at the bedtime, you want to do it early in the morning, first thing again, like I told you, there is no duration. So if you have only 10 minutes, you do it only for 10 minutes. Choose any three chants and just uh, get it done. Okay, if you have more time, do all, all the five. Okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, realize that uh, Shafali, I you know, I know sound is helps, but I was like, okay, kit, kya hoga? I mean, I'm not feeling much vibration. But here I, I do feel like it feels a little light. I mean, I'm feeling something within this little time. So when you practice. when you start doing it more often, uh, mm -hmm. after that I'll ask your feedback. So maybe after twenty one days I'll ask you guys how you're feeling. Singles. Do it regularly. Do it regularly. Maybe not at a physical level, but at a very deeper level, you will find a lot of difference with chanting. Okay, chale. Thank you so much for joining early in the morning. Take care of yourself. Just do this twenty one days. Try to stick with the twenty one day routine. And then I'll ask you how you're feeling. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Take care of yourself. Have a nice Sunday. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.